page 154. Around the world. Which is the most interesting place you have visited? How did you go there and return? Have you travelled by different means of transport? Is there a mode of transport that you would like to use? Mr. Phileas Fogg lays a bet with some of his friends to go around the world in 80 days. This is the story of how he travelled with his companion, Pass Out. Page 155 That evening, they were on the train from San Francisco to New York, which was 3,786 miles away. In seven days, the train would take them from the Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean. The train steamed through California at full speed. It crossed steep mountain slopes, deep canyons and hair-raising curves moving through a few tunnels and bridges. Suddenly, the train slowed down as a herd of buffaloes charged across the railway track. The train was forced to stop till the procession passed like a great brown river. The herd took a full three hours to cross the tracks. Night had fallen by the time the train could move again. Page 156 The train headed for the steep mountains. This was the most difficult part of the journey with its winding roads. They passed the highest point of their journey, 7,524 feet above sea level. In a few hours, they would be out of the Rocky Mountains. After the passengers had taken their breakfast, the train gave a shrill whistle and braked with a jerk and came to a halt. Passepartout, a French passenger, went to see what the matter was. There was nothing to be seen. The train had halted in the middle of nowhere. There was no station in sight. He heard the signalman say, The train can't go on. The bridge near Medicine Bow won't support the weight. It was a suspension bridge and some of its cables were broken. The driver of the train said, Perhaps there is a chance of getting across the bridge by letting the train proceed at maximum speed. All aboard, said the conductor. The passengers got on the train and the driver reversed the train for nearly a mile. Then he gave another whistle. The train began to move forward so fast that it was frightening. The passengers had the feeling that the train was not resting on the tracks, but was floating through air. As the engine shrieked and the train shuddered, they were over the bridge in a flash. As soon as they passed over the Medicine River, the bridge crashed down into the raging waters below. The train continued its course that evening without interruption. As the train moved forward the next day, it was suddenly attacked by hundreds of Sioux Indians, a tribe of native Red Indians. Many of them appeared from all sides, jumped onto the moving train and pulled themselves up the steps. They were armed with rifles. Some of the travellers had revolvers. They defended themselves bravely by answering with pistol shots. Page 157 
page 158. The conductor cried out, The train must be stopped or we are lost. I will go, said Passepartout. He opened the door and unseen by the Red Indians, he slipped under the racing train and holding on to the chains, he slowly reached the engine. Then he separated the engine from the coaches. They started to slow down. They had neared a station where soldiers, attracted by the sounds of shots, hurried towards the train. The Red Indians on board saw them and quickly jumped off before the train stopped entirely. The story by Jules Verne, adapted from Around the World in 80 Days. Page 159 New Words Procession Body of persons or animals walking together. Canyons Deep, narrow opening, usually with a stream. Supporting Keep from falling. Conductor Person in charge of bus or a train. Hurried Moved Worked quickly. Reading is fun! 1. Which tribe of Red Indians attacked the travellers? 2. Which was the highest point of their journey? 3. Why did the train stop the first time? 4. How many days would it take for the train to reach New York? 5. Tick the correct answer. 1. The first time the train stopped was because A. Some robbers stopped the train. B. A herd of buffaloes was passing. C. The tracks were broken. 2. The bridge fell with a crash into the river. A. After the train had passed through. B. The train was still on the bridge. C. Before the train passed over the bridge. Page 160 Match the following words with their meanings. You can take the help of a dictionary. Halted Passengers Defended Shuddered Several occasions Interruption Entirely People travelling in buses, trains, etc. Stopped Completely Many times Trembled or shook violently Break the continuity of Protected from attack Word building 1. Read the following sentences the train steamed forward at full speed. The train headed for the steep mountains. Find five more such words from the lesson. Space has been provided for your answers. 2. From the text, find three more describing words like the ones given below in the example. Steep mountain slopes. Deep canyons. Hair-raising curves. Blank. 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 3. Find the opposites of the following words from the text. 1. Minimum speed. Blank. 2. Moved forward. Blank. Page 161. 3. Disappeared. Blank. 4. Closed. Blank. 5. Lowest. Blank. 4. In the lesson, you will find many words that describe sounds like whistling, roaring, breaking, crashing, raging. 
Can you list the things these sounds are related to? Sounds Whistling Things associated with the sound Wind Policeman Roaring Blank Breaking Blank Crashing Blank Raging Blank Let's talk. 1. See the picture of the people climbing on the train. We notice that most of the time we do not wait for the other people to get off the train before boarding it, causing inconvenience to others. 2. Discuss with your partner the manner in which you conduct yourself while interacting with others. Page 162 Reading a map Look at the view of the classroom from above. Now, answer the following. You can use words like front, back, left and right. 1. How many doors and windows are there in the classroom? 2. Where is the blackboard? 3. How many rows of desks are there in the middle and back rows? Now look at this picture and answer the following questions. 1. There are blank trees between the classroom and the playground. 2. The blank trees line the passage from the entrance. 3. Many Blank trees are along the side of the playground. Page 163 Use this map to answer the questions. 1. What does the dotted line on the map show? 2. What road would Ajay take to get to the boat club? 3. What building is next to the picnic area? 4. What road passes by Ajay's house? 5. What other way could Ajay use to get from his house to his grandmother's house? Now write. Use verbs like go, turn, cross. Use prepositions like across. Between, in front of, beside, near, behind and write how you get home from school. Use the space provided below. Page 164 Let's listen. Do you like to float paper boats? Listen to the poem given below. Day by day I float my paper boats. Day by day, I float my paper boats, one by one, down the running stream. In big black letters, I write my name on them and the name of the village where I live. I hope that someone in some strange land will find them and know who I am. I load my little boats with shewly flowers from our garden and hope that these blooms of the dawn will be carried safely to land in the night. Poem by Rabindranath Tagore 1. Discuss with your partner how you would send a similar message to someone. 2. Also find out how people sent messages in olden days and how they send them nowadays. Page 165 Let's write. 1. See the picture travel time below. Answer the questions that follow. 1. Where did you go for an excursion holiday? 2. With whom did you go? 3. What did you take with you? 4. What was the first thing you saw when you reached your destination? 5. What did you like best about the place?
Six. How long did you stay there? Seven. What did you miss about home? Two. Make sentences using any two new words which you have learnt in the lesson. One, blank. Two, blank. Page one hundred sixty-six. Three. Which do you think would be more fun, traveling by aeroplane or sailing on a ship? Write why you think so. Use the space provided for your answer. Four. Look at the following words. They are group names. Troop of soldiers. Swarm of bees. One. The travelers rested under the blank of trees. Two. The blank sang beautifully. Three. The blank of flowers was lying on the table. Four. The girl looked up at the blank of stars. Five. The blank of robbers escaped. Six. The hunter shot at the blank of birds. Clump. Cluster. Choir. Bunch. Flock. Band. Your options are. Five. Some words describe actions. Many of them end in ly. For example, the girl danced beautifully. Fill in the blanks by changing the word in the brackets suitably. One, the girl slept blank. Sound. Word is sound. Two, the children finished their work. Blank. Word is quick. Three. The old man shouted. Blank. The word is loud. Four. The boys played. Blank. The word is quiet. Page one hundred sixty-seven. Five. Do your work. Blank. The word is neat. Six, I can do the sum. Blank, the word is easy. Fun time. One, which country would you like to visit when you grow up? Make a project by drawing or pasting. One, a map of that country, its national flag. Two, stamps of the country, its currency. Three. Some famous monuments or landmarks. Two. Do you know that there are seven wonders in the world? Can you tell the name of the one which is in India? Find out and write the names of all the seven wonders and the countries they are located in. Wonders of the world, countries. One. The Taj Mahal. Two. The Great Wall of China. Use the space provided below for the rest of the names and their countries. Page one hundred sixty-eight. Fun with sounds. When an e is added to some words, the words change along with their sounds and meanings. Cap, cape. Mat, mate. Pin, pine. Not, note. Kit, kite. Sit, sight. Fin, fine. Hat, hate. Cut, cute. Bit, bite. Quit, quite. Din, dine. A little bit of nonsense. There was an old man with a beard who said. It is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my beard.